Neil, congratulations into the quarterfinals here at the World Seniors. Tough game there against Keith, but you came through and you showed some good darts in that game. Yeah, cheers. Um, yeah, Keith's one of them guys. He's still a great player. He's still, he can still turn it on when he wants to. Um, probably didn't play as well as he did last night, but I well, kind of wanted to go out there and take control of the game right from the start. Um, set the pace of the game. Not get drawn into any nonsense. Um, and bar the first leg, yeah, I'm, I'm happy enough with, with, with my, my, my performance. You say you wanted to start well, didn't go all to plan in that first leg. Was that a little bit of a, a mental hurt early on? It's scoring well, scoring scoring for fun. Um, yeah, I missed nine, ten darts at a double. But that's just one of them legs. I think sometimes you just need to be settler just to... Um, and I was actually afforded the, them darts to settle. Um, once that leg was over, then it's wipe your mouth and get stuck in. And I said, exactly I don't start firing big scores in and, uh, and made the game me on, yeah. This is a format that you're fairly used to with Lakeside last year. You've some big wins over this format. Do you think being comfortable with all of that is, is a big help to you? Yeah, set play is a completely different format than if you're playing a best of 11 knockout or best of 7 knockout, it's, it's different. We, we play WDF, we play all year round, it's best of 7. A lot of times it's best of 5 for a few rounds. Um, so I, I love set play. There's a certain way to play set play. Um, you're never out, you're never beat. Um, I think you've shown that at the lake side with the Jim McEwen match. Um, so you just set yourself with goals where you're playing. Instead of playing one match, you're playing maybe three matches. And th this, th there's a certain mindset to handling it. And yeah, I, th I think I do it well. And the format sits well with the, my style of play. This week, do you feel like you found that game once again that you were playing at Lakeside? You say it's been indifferent for the past few months and you haven't quite found that top gear. But do you feel like it's, it's coming out again now? Yeah, I, I kinda, it's kind of been no secret with even a few of the tour events, the World Masters and stuff like that there. Um, I've been struggling with my darts, so kind of... I, I, to be honest, I need to go back to work. I need to go back to work just to rough my hands up and to get the grip back in my hands again. Um, I probably over Christmas period I wasn't practising the way I should have been. Um, that's something that I've addressed and need to do it. And, uh, yeah, I need, need to do more of, and just for muscle memory sake of nothing else, I've changed my darts to the new Cullen darts, and I absolutely love them, absolutely love them, and they're so grippy. Um, I'll we'll be speaking to Red Dragon in the next couple of weeks, and see if we can get maybe something tinkered with mine, and get there or thereabouts, but uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the darts, and when you've got the right dart in your hand, the confidence with the dart, to the dart, just comes along with it and I'm yeah I'm really enjoying it lovely cheers now cheers. Neil Keith was pretty confident going into that he said I could beat Neil Duff but how pleased are you let your darts do the talking tonight yeah listen uh, anyone can stand pre, pre, pre match and say they're going to do this and going to do that yeah, it's, you have to go out there and back it up um, Keith's a good lad um, I'll, I'll get a chat with him later on and uh, but you, you, you got to do what you got to do and unfortunately he, he, he didn't if he, to go, if he had to come out and play me, he had to boss me, and he didn't do that, so I bossed him. Do you think yesterday took a lot out of him, that long game he had? Yeah, probably. I think is the older you get, the harder it is to recover from matches like that there. Um, I, I, I think he was, he, was, he was definitely up for it. He was up for the game. I think he, he had instilled in himself that he, that he was going to put a shoe on. Um, but... I just go about my business. I don't care. I don't listen to to interviews and one thing or another. I go up there. I've got my three darts. I know what I have to do myself. And as long as I follow my routine, do what I have to do, then if I'm here at the end of the, the match, it's all the better. It looks like you famously predicted that you're going to win. Any predictions for tomorrow? Absolutely not. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I kind of started off that week, the predictions. Um, I do have that mental aspect where I know in my own head I, I, just, I know how matches are going to go or hope they're going to go um, I'll be going out and I'll be doing my best if anyone wants to beat me 
they better bring their A game. Cheers, Neil. Cheers, lads. Cheers, mate. Good job. Cheers, Neil. Thanks, mate.